Right, so you've got your sign analyzer, you've got your CV you want to test, you've got your tiny SA to generate the signals. Let's just have a quick look at setting up the receive using a tiny SA and the sign analyzer meter to get the best performance for the radio. First thing we do is set up the tiny SA. Right, so we switch on our tiny SA, we go tap on the screen and go to the mode output, and then we need to select the low output here. And on the frequency, we're going to do this on channel 20, 27.79125, M for megahertz. And then we leave our level as it is. External gain. Now, if you've got an attenuator on here, which like I have, so it's minus 40 times 1. It's minus 40 dB I've got on here. If you haven't got an attenuator, just leave that as blank. Uh, modulation. We want this as narrow FM. Uh, I always forget to do this, but then we need our frequency of modulation, which is 0.94 kilohertz on the version of firmware I've got. It, it should be a 1 kilohertz on yours. If you've got the latest version of firmware, you'll be okay. Just put it on 1 kilohertz. I still haven't got around to changing the firmware on this. Um, so that's our basic setup. And here is our level here. Minus, we can go up and down with these two, or we can go in increments of 1 dB here. So we can go up to plus 10 dB there. So now we're all set. We can feed this signal in simply by clicking on the on and our output now should be going to the radio. Right, if you watch a lot of my videos or Rich's videos, you'll be more used to microvolts in terms of signals. Uh, so this is a really good chart to download. You can get this online. It's a microvolts to conversion chart for 50 ohm systems. And you can use this with your tiny SA to work out what your microvolt conversion is. So for setting the detector we want to be looking at setting a 100 microvolt signal into the radio which you can see on this you've got your microvolts there on the right your dbm there and you can see on this chart here 100 microvolts is minus 67 db okay you can see it there 100 minus 67. So we go over to the tiny sa because we can deal in increments of 10 we can simply select on this level here there we go minus 67 there's our 100 microvolt signal and we can now feed that into the radio and see what it sounds like and this is what our signal sounds like <whistles> sounds pretty good let's look at it on the scope and there's the signal on the scope that looks pretty good but what we'll do first off we've got 100 microvolt signal on and we'll just adjust the fm detector which is in the bottom right hand corner on this chassis Okay, so we'll just peak that. I think we're there, aren't we? There or thereabouts. Okay, now let's go f see what the sign analyzer meter, see how sensitive it is at first on the sign analyzer meter. Right, so we're going to now drop the signal right the way down. And to do that, we shall go onto the meter here and we'll start to lower the signal. Now you'll hear it. It's very easy to do that actually. We'll go that's as low as we can go. So on the chart that's 0.3 of a microvolt. And let's see what that sign ad what sign ad reading we're getting from the sign ad the sign analyzer on this one. Okay, over on the sign analyzer meter, we're looking at minus 7 dB there at its lowest at 0.3 of a microvolt. That's as low as I, I can actually take it. Okay, so we'll, up, we'll we'll pop the signal up to see what it is at 12. Just out of interest, I'll show you what it is on the Synadder, uh, Synad meter. So I'll just unplug the radio here. We'll plug in the Synad meter on the desk there. And you can see there, that's exactly the same. Slightly higher, like I say, there'll be a slight bit of difference in between the two. That's fluctuating between 7 and 8, but it's pretty much exactly the same. So... Just thought I would show you that just to show you how closely these meters do match and um, we'll try and improve that signal shall we? Alright we'll see if we can improve things. We're going for the first can here in the top right and we're looking for this meter to go off in towards the 12. So we're not getting a huge amount of change on that one. I don't think this radio is too far out of alignment so we're probably not going to get much more out of this I don't think. I can hear there we've got a broken um, broken ferrite, which is annoying. We squeezed a little bit more out of it there.
It's going backwards. If we, you'll see it. There we go. That's no good. It's always better to listen to it, but for this on the video, I'm just going to keep the, the noise down a little bit here now. I could do with dropping the signal a bit for this. I could. There we go. We picked up some there. Do you see that big jump? If I wind it back, it was that. It was there. And have a look now. If we go back the other way. There we go. That's made quite a good difference, hasn't it? So we picked up a fair bit on that one. Let's move in. You can still see on the video. You might have to pull the wires out of the way on this chassis there. Let's move into this one. Now it would be useful on, on my bigger SIG gen. I can get the signal a bit lower. But I'm not getting a huge swing on that one. Sometimes you can get. it might be useful to get a bit more signal. And then the last can on there we've already adjusted, uh, of course, because that's the detector can. Right, so let's take a figure on this now then. So we're doing minus 112 dBm, which according to the chart is 0.5 of a microvolt. Uh, so for this chassis, that's kind of, kind of normal. All right, that's optimized as good as we can get with the cyanalyzer, that's worked lovely. We've now got our signal level at minus 112 dBm which is 0.5 of a microvolt as we've said and we've got 12 dB cyanide minus 12 dB cyanide on there on the meter right and if space is tight on your workbench as I showed you last week there is a different version of this uh, meter around a compact version which comes in two versions this one is the battery powered version and um, this one uh, takes up much less space can slip it on the shelf and it's obviously this one's battery powered and um, they're on my eBay page at the minute. If you fancy one of these, we'll just pop a battery in, see how, how it looks. Okay, here's the battery lid. We've got a little bit of foam packer there. There we go, sit it on the table. So all we need to do now is just plug it in. And switch the meter on. And there we go. Our Battery meters reading the same at 12 dB cyanide, minus 12, and we're looking good, we're cooking on gas. So there you go, there's your options. Like I say, there are still some of these meters available. I would say that once they're gone, they are gone. So if you are interested in, uh, go on, either contact me directly on the email address that's on the screen, or pop onto eBay if that's your choice. And um, yeah, I just thought I'd show you this. This is the super budget way of doing this. If you want a cyanide meter and you want a signal generator, there really isn't a cheaper and better and more compact way of doing this. And, you know, like I said, you know, the although I've got this charging at the minute, this, you know, this is, this is all, this is battery powered. This is battery powered. You could run this off of it on receive. You could run this off of a tiny little 12 volt battery. Um, so you could literally do this in the back of your car if you wanted to or your van or wherever So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that. Thanks if you've already bought a meter or a kit I really appreciate it. It's been a good run. So uh, there are still some available International sales are available through eBay. I uh, can't do anything about shipping costs. Unfortunately, that's just the way the world is Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed uh, that makes a massive difference to the channel and it really helps me get more viewers on board and generate a bit more revenue through ads for the channel so we can make more content like this and I can do more development on meters. I do have another meter in development of a different type which I, I shall talk about fairly soon once I've finished the prototype. So keep an eye on the channel and if you have been thank you ever so much for watching we'll catch you on the next one.